Animal Cruisings. We're still drinking coffee from Sean in Alaska. Thank you, sir. We love our coffee. And Tammy show, Tierra Talk Show. She just interviewed Ed Asner from the movie Up, who's 85 years old. But the video is about, the first part of our video is about the cruisings. You have a pair of them, and I want to go over them with you. But first, Elizabeth, are you watching? Elizabeth is three years old, and she loves watching our videos with her daddy from Virginia. Virginia, and that's Travis. Travis is watching with his daughter. Elizabeth. Hi, honey. Let's drive again. Really good. Let's go over them. Cruisings was a really clever idea. Nintendo and Valley Midway came up with the idea of having single units rather than two put together with only one coin door. This was really clever. Here's why. They sold you a single cruising, but you had the option to link them down the road with an optical cable. And then they had the holes already drilled. So you can bolt them together so you have two games at once. And then they had this beautiful topper that bolted on the top, lit with neon. So we left this apart so you could see it. While these two imbeciles are driving away, one of the most clever games of all, designed by Eugene Jarvis, with all these levels of play using a medium res monitor with a crisp, clear picture and no moving parts, no hard drive. Genius, pure genius. There's all this hidden stuff filled in. And if you fluff the gas pedal, fluff it, not this one. Yeah, there we go, see, you fluffed it. So so see what happened when you fluff it again. See, pretty neat, huh? Let's take a picture, look. This is the top, and it tells you who's the leader with the light bulbs. Two fluorescent lights here that light the cruising panel, and then two color neon that lights the back. I wanted you to see that here. Now, what they did here, it's very clever. We just put a brand new ballast in. The old ballast had finally given up the ghost and wired that in. The ballast runs the high voltage. This is 18,000 watts, so we don't want to touch it. Goes in here, goes all the way through here, and then it ends here. Then another cable carries it over to the blue neon, and it travels all the way through here and comes at the end. So the one ballast is running two different colors. Keep your fingers away. Did I get it in, Frank? Did you film it? Nothing from Frank. Oh, that high voltage. Frank, please. It's not happy with me and my... Anyway. Isn't that nice? What a beautiful sign. Anyway, Frank, let me get to the back of this. Put that there. That gets all a back cover that we'll put on later. Boys, you can put this together. I'm going to try to stumble through the back. Now we're going to get back there, Frank. You're so busy. Frank, can you fix through here? I can, but can you? Don't be stupid. Frank. There's our cable to connect them. Okay. Here's our logic board. New button battery. New power supply, and we reheated the feedback board. This is the feedback amplifier board. So you can see no, no hard drive. Great system. Medium res Wells Garner. And see, this is the connection for the top. So it, can't, it doesn't get simpler than this, does it? Really, really nice piece. Anyway, Frank, I guess we're ready to load this up. Oh, these holes here are for the feedback. The uh, other the, uh, the first place winner cables. So that's where those holes are. And that just sits to the top. We push it together. But, see the beauty of this, the cleverness of it, back in 85 they were thinking that after it's been in an arcade its whole life, you may want to break the game apart and put one in one store and one in the other. And from that point on, every machine made from 85 on were single units that could be bolted together. Now you have the history. Oh. Well, Frank, I think it's time we move on to the next in our super spectacular combo video. I got another rare one to show you, but first, 
You remember we were checking out the classified ads for the cars at Daddy Pop's restaurant? Let me run you a clip of something I filmed last week. Here's our time. Here we are at Daddy Pop's. And look, we got in cream of wheat with blueberries. Oh, oh. Oh, wonderful. Wait, that's brown sugar. I asked her for cinnamon. They said no brown sugar. They said no brown sugar. That's the kind of help you get when there's a war. You don't think I need anything unhealthy, do you? That's correct. Anyway. Our Todd only eats healthy. I'll get back to you. Look at that with the blueberries. I'll get back to you. I'll get back to this. Why we're making the film. And of course, a toasted English muffin through the toaster. Oh. Here to look for the car. Now we're going to search the car, which yes. is and today, no longer in the paper. July 15th. Here's the car up. There's the Cadillac. El Dorado, it's there. And look, there is Destroy Sentai. Oh, wow. But oh, wait a minute. Kiss me. It's not here. The, the roller. The roller. It's there. gone. Bob, Bob, what are we going to do? <laughs> it's only been in the paper for six seven years. years. Seven huh? years. Seven uh, years. Uh, uh, Mike, six, seven. Mike, who's counting? It's not in here. Uh oh. This isn't good. Now what? This isn't good. But what is good, I got my cinnamon. He's got his cinnamon now. You no, know maybe we should go back. Somebody must have seen our video oh, about the roller. Look at that cinnamon. And the, vid the YouTube videos. And then ordered it. And then uh, somebody bought it. That's probably true. Is this going to end it or should we keep coming It's back only been seven years. Filming, uh, uh, the, the Cadillac and the. Uh, and the now we're going to see what Mike and Maggie had to say, who is so uh -oh. camera shy. Uh, she's not looking. Oh, she's no, such... No, 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 you forgot. Maggie is in the witness protection. Oh, that's right. She is. Yeah. <laughs> we're shooting her husband. Here, come back here and we'll finish up with my car. All right. Uh, we're back here with the uh, party. By the way, this is Bob's first time filming with a camera. Oh, yeah. You could tell by the nervous and jerky. Uh, Isn't this great? Now, look. look at this. We got now, raisins. We got blueberries. Now, we call Cinnamon. Oh. See, when you make a stew, you can get it really high. Now, doesn't that look good? This is exciting. A few more raisins for good measure. More raisins. And we'll bid you adieu. Remember Demolition Man we, we shipped out last week? Remember that beautiful Demo Man that was so beautiful? We got this uh, email that says, The Demo Man arrived today, very well packaged and no damage. We got to thank Scott and Jonathan for that. Had it up and running in no time flat. Plays awesome and looks even better. The only problem is now I want another. Jurassic Park, Terminator 2, or Judge Dredd, maybe? Question mark, exclamation point. Thank you so much, Todd. The game is awesome. Five stars and two thumbs up to TNT. Brian C. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Well, another, another happy customer. Look, 1932, the National Pin Cut Corporation. Is that what it was? Pin Games? National Pin Games Corporation in Detroit made this beautiful game hand painted. This was from our basement buyout. Do you remember the video from last week? We cleaned it up and look underneath all that filth. Look what was this beautiful game from 1932. This top panel all hand painted and it has this interesting feature, a controllable propeller that lets you accelerate the ball. See, here's what happens. You shoot the ball here, up. It comes up and hits this wire. And then what you hope is by turning this knob here, you control the propeller. It has needs some adjustment, of course, but... By your service anyway, plan? By service plan will do it. Look, and you try to get it in here and then direct it 
with that knob to go in the 1,000, 800, 600, 800, or 1,000. And if you miss all of them, at least you get 400, which is certainly a lot more than you'll get if it goes in the 3, 2, 4, that beautiful 500 point. So you can still get a big point if you go here or here, even if you miss the big one. And then at the bottom, you just get 100 or 200 or 300. Now, I want to show you, see this, this particular medium, uh, apparently Arnold cut a new plexiglass top, which is here, it slides in the back end. This panel lifts out. It does not have the panel inside that allows the balls to sit. So it's a three-piece unit. The bottom piece here collects all the balls and drains them to the shooter lane. There was another panel that sat right here, okay? It's a flat piece of plywood with holes in the right spot. And here's what happened. When you put your money in and slid it in, it pushed the tray forward underneath and all the, the, uh, uh, the 10 balls dropped through to the bottom and collected down here. And then when you pulled it out, the tray slid back. And as the ball went up and rolled down, it would sit in the hole so you could see what your points were and add them up. So it was really a neat feature. So at the end of the 10 balls, then you would know what your score was. You say, well, I got 800, 300, that's 1,100. I got two balls in here, that's 1,300. One ball here is 1,600, see, et cetera, et cetera. The customer that's buying this, it's Mark actually in Canada. He's gonna hang it on the wall. So that, that's his plan to put this up and make it some wall art. Night, original 1932 stuff. Frank, let's see. That puts this at uh, how many years old? This game's almost old? as old as you are. I was going to do my Frank imitation. The game's almost as old as you are. But I didn't. Anyway, this is a tabletop game that can also sit floor mount with four legs. Actually, here's the original flyer. Isn't that neat? Look at the colors in the flyer, aren't they really sharp? I just thought that was really neat stuff to find this flyer. By the way, all this information that you're seeing here is in the International Pinball Database, ipdb.org. So you can look it up for yourself. Isn't that neat? Now, we're going on our last game of the day of this video, another William Strike Zone Shuffle Alley. Let's go back here, Frank, come on. Frank. You know, I can do that. I can do that, that Captain Picard gag. A Captain Picard gag. No, no, you have to look here. In this direction, Frank. 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 If you do it, I'm turning oh, wait, the camera off. You just passed Devil's Dare. Isn't it beautiful? Well, we got, see, we got all the flippers off. So, Steven has to work his magic, but it's coming along. Here. Oh my god, too much that face. Okay. No. Frank, I got a strike. Frank, I got two strikes. I was gonna say I got three, but I didn't. Oh. 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 Beautiful, Frank. It's playing beautifully. Look, a brand new scorecard. It's still covered in the protective stuff. It's all been repainted. We have brand new black and chrome T molding on it. We have a perfect pin glass. They're usually shattered or broken. Not this piece. A very nice back glass. We have LEDs here lighting the main part. And we have the brand new display. Oh, Frank, it's an automatic response. There we are. Brand new pin scores. Uh, actually, these are from X-Pin. They're making them too. So uh, both Marco and X-Pin make these beautiful displays. Aren't they nice? And they swing open. Like so. We have these two clips that hold this up. Now, because we're not using the high voltage, we do not need this part of the circuit. New capacitors. God, that phone is loud. Is it anybody gonna? Oh, 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 oh. It just rings and rings. Anyway, 
new capacitors here, okay, and our button battery cell. Everything has been upgraded, and even a new power cord. Beautiful. Would you say it's not? And look at the side art, Frank. It's been repainted the exact same gray and black lines, high gloss gray and black. Everything's been sealed. New wheels on the back, Frank. We did everything on this. Everything on this. What's who's he looking at? Ah! The phone for me. Well, then I, I guess we better end this video.